Shita. Hey, I'm Nilanjan. Hi, this is Salman. Hello, I am Vanshi. Welcome to the topic handling wildcard queries. But first, why do we even need a wildcard query? But sometimes the user cannot recall the exact query that they are looking for. For example, suppose I have seen a job advertisement on LinkedIn few days back and I want to apply now, but I forgot the job ID number. And I also forgot the full name of the company. What I remember is that the company's name starts with Bird. A query can be re- can be written in multiple ways. Let's say color. A color can be spelled as C L O R or C L O U R. A user may want to search for different spelling renditions of a word. Yeah, um, wildcard queries are essential. But how do we actually process them? Uh, for example, if you want to search B I R D star. that is all the words starting with bird one way to handle wildcard queries is to use b trees on the dictionary a query with only one star at the end of it is called a trailing query a query with only one star at the beginning of it is called a leading query for a trailing query we walk down the tree following the symbols b i r d in turn and then enumerate all the words with prefix bird We then use these words to look up in the standard inverted index and retrieve the postings. What if we have a leading query or the star symbol in the middle of the query? Leading query, we can reverse the query and do the lookup as before. For queries such as bird asterisk i, we can retrieve the, the terms with the prefix bird and uh, suffix uh, i, and then take the intersection. Interesting. Sounds like a regular expression problem. Can we not insert expressions of a more general kind in the middle of a wildcard query? Yes, there are characters we can use which represents the different patterns, just like regular expressions. For example, for single numeric characters, we insert hash at the required position in the query. That is, one hash three will find one zero three, one one three, and so on. But there can be complex queries with multiple stars. How do we handle them? To handle complex wildcard queries, there are methods such as permutum and k-gram index. The idea behind permutum index is to rotate a wildcard query so that the star comes at the end of it. We then build a permutum vocabulary by rotating each term in original dictionary, and then we apply the standard process to retrieve the postings. Kgram is a sequence of k characters. We build a kgram index by generating kgrams of all the terms in a vocabulary. For example, etr will map to metric retrieval or bit root. We further build a inverted index from bit root, metric, and retrieval to the documents containing these terms. But these two techniques are more sophisticated. It generates a superset of results, which then have to be processed for the precise results. So to summarize. wildcard queries are needed when the user is unsure of the query spelling the retrieval process is analogous to regular expression and generally binary tree data structure can be used the more advanced methods such as permutum and kgram index are used to retrieve complex wildcard queries